Services. We'll go on to number 10, Street Banner Policy Program. Welcome, George. Good evening, Mayor, Council Members. Uh, my name is George Barlow. I'm an analyst here at the City Manager's Office. Thank you for allowing me to present to you the Street Banner Program and staff recommendation, recommendation to adopt a resolution approving the Street Banner Policy and Program Guidelines. The purpose is to provide a venue for additional advertising space to promote community-based events co-sponsored, supported, or endorsed by the city. A little background. For many years, banners have been exhibited on Yuba City light poles. In the last couple years, the interest in street banner uh, exhibiting has increased, and we expect it to increase more with the completion of the Fifth Street Bridge and Bridge Street Corridor. In recent months, staff researched other cities' programs and proposes implementation of a banner policy and program guidelines for Yuba City to ensure a fair and cooperative process and to avoid conflicts in competing for prime display space. So across our city, we have uh, 48 uh, Cobra head uh, light poles with existing banners on them. Likewise, we have 32 uh, Victorian light poles with either hardware or banners existing on them. As indicated in the street banner, in the street banner policy and program guidelines, we have seven banner locations. Uh, one of our banner locations, the main banner location, is our Bridge Street banner area, where we have 26 banners spanning from Cooper Avenue to Pluma Street. Other banner areas, uh, Staver Lane, uh, north of Butte House to Sharon Drive, and also Gray Avenue uh, from Butte House to Queens. Just south of us, we have North Walton, and that would be our Sun Suite banner area. And then just south of that uh, and west of uh, Walton, we have our Franklin Avenue banner area. And in the south area, we have South Walton, that would be south of Lincoln, is another banner area. And then uh, we have Garden Highway from Lincoln to Bogue Road. Applicants will be able to download the vertical banner application through our website, read the street banner policy and program guidelines, return their completed banner application at City Hall or via email, once the application is approved, the applicant will pay the banner installation fee of $35 per banner. The city or designated installer will install the banners. Uh, and staff recommends, uh, recommendation is to adopt a resolution approving the street banner policy and program guidelines. Our physical impact, uh, there will be no impact to the general fund. All costs associated with the street banner program will be funded by the banner installation charges. And with that, do I have any questions from council? Through the mayor. Um, thank you, Mr. Barlow. This was uh, something that uh, this council uh, was interested in back in June. It's great to see it come forward. I know there's gonna be plenty of interest in the program and I appreciate your efforts in, in finalizing um, the application and the process. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Through the mayor. Um, questions concerning the um, how, as a city, we can use them ourselves. Because uh, if you we'll go back to one of your very first slides, you had um, the one that strikes home with me the most was uh, honoring a veteran. 
Uh, it was a recipient, I believe, of a Purple Heart. There you go. Uh, Army Sergeant, uh, Bronze Star, Purple Heart. Um, obviously, if we wanted to do something, I see that throughout the nation to where they will honor their hometown heroes, military, fire, police, uh, at different times. Would what you're proposing, would the city have the availability to basically they're our property, we're going to do, run this campaign ourselves at this time and um, kind of have blackout dates if we chose to do that? Yes, absolutely, to answer your question. Uh, as we do currently with our IC3101 mm -hmm. banners, uh, the, of course, our, our advertisement uh, for our YC311 app. Uh, so the same would apply to those type of banners. I have been in discussions with uh, veterans organizations mm -hmm. uh, to try to supply names and, and various individuals to actually uh, put those type of banners up. Kudos. I appreciate it. I want to see a lot more of them because they really enhance the city. So, yes, sir. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody from the public care to comment on it? All right. We have its motion time. If anybody would care to do it. Through the mayor? Yes. Like big staff's recommendation, a street, ban street banner policy and program to adopt a resolution approving street banner policy and program guidelines. Second. All right, first and second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed, none. Thank you, George. Good job.